Well, I mean, obviously you give them credit for what they what they did, their game plan. Uh, that's a good football team, but obviously we didn't do what we needed to do as well in some some aspects of it. So frustrated about having some of those opportunities being extended, not working out. But again, you give them credit. They won the game. They did what they're supposed to do. We didn't we didn't execute to 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 a level that uh, of the experience that we had from from last week. He's as advertised. I mean, he was with the preseason CA player of the year, and um, he's a special player. When you have your guy like that that can make it go um, through the air, manage the game, makes makes the throws, he, he's, he's, he's a special player. How does struggle with the win or just struggle? Uh, you know, a little bit of everything. You know, just – the good thing is he's a young guy that's going to be back and have a great career. The tough thing is he's, he's a young guy that's got to learn to, you know, as things go on and adapt to handle to handle pressure, to handle some of those moments. But, um, you know, he's going to be a, a really good football player, and and they did a good job of, of putting a, a plan together that minimized his, uh, his overall effect. Hey, Tyler, how about speaking to your uh, impact Uh, I mean, I'm just excited, you know, honestly, to play wherever I can be put at. Um, my defense has been my my true calling ever since I came here as a as a linebacker as a freshman year. So, just be able to come full circle and being able to help this team out in any way possible, loving it. Speak to the, uh, the challenge of dealing with Flacco and the with him. He, he's he's elusive. Uh, I could have got a full sack on on one of those in the first half, but he, he kind of got off it. But I mean, he's you know, he knows how to move in the pocket. And he definitely utilizes his space really well. So, yeah. Tough, tough pretty much all game to get in the end zone for you to scoop and score there and make that play. I mean, um, you know, how did it feel for you to get in the end zone there? I mean, I was just at the right place at the right time. I mean, I give I give most of the credit to Trey. I mean, he, he stripped the ball out and he got the tackle. And I just, the ball bounced up perfectly. So, I mean, Coach Brown preaches, you know, just be where you need to be, filling your gap, do your job. So, I was just in the right place at the right time. Mike, why did uh, William and Mary uh, move Tyler over the linebacker? Well, you know, we found out that that was one of the things he really did well. If you go back, you watch his huddle tape. He, he was an excellent pass rusher. And, you know, we want to try to find ways to maximize the, the talent level of the guys on our team. Bronson Yoder started out of safety, then became like a hand and ball guy and became a running back. You add another running back to the to the to the mix, then you have a guy like Tyler who has expressed and demonstrated performance in rushing the passer, playing over the tight end, and so as we start talking, talked about his abilities to to help the team with with multiple plays, multiple reps, and um, not precluding anything else from going back and being a running back at a based on a personnel package, but you know this is the kind of player he is, selfless wanted to find a way to help the team and and his skill set is he can rush the passers as we've seen the last few weeks and and I, I think he's got a bright future in that not excluded exclusive of being being in the backfield but um this is what this team needed for this year this moment and he happily obliged and has carried the mantle of being a selfless guy as you move into next week this is uh something you've done plenty of times The biggest thing is to end on a positive note for our, our seniors. Obviously, this was tough because it's their last home game, and now we're going into the finality of being your last, perhaps for a lot of them, their co last college football game. And, you know, the rivalry and where I went to school and all those things, obviously, it'll be written about and talked about, but my, my focus and goal is to, as I said in the locker room, is, is to challenge these guys, myself and the coaches, is to have our best week of preparation, our, our best week of practice, uh, our best of a lot of things to do as you play your last, you know, your last game. And, and I know, you know, guys like Tyler and Bill Murray and Nate, Corey Parker, all those guys will, will do that because that's who they are. And, um, you know, it's one game left for, uh, you know, for this year's team. Long journey, 
some highs, definitely some lows, but uh, a lot of highs in terms of expectations and who we are as a as a football team that's got a lot of young players that are in the mix for us. How have these guys handled the ups and flows of the season? I mean, coming off the two game winning streak, obviously this is the disappointment, but you want these guys to snap back really quick. That's sport. That's and it's also life as well when things happen. You you can't you never can let the highs get you too high or the lows get you too low. This team has gone through a lot, and as we all know, from the very beginning of of, of the summer, spring, and uh, faced tragedy, adversity, had some success, highs of highs, winning five overtime game, and you know just all those things. That's part of the journey, the process, and um, being around these guys has been really uh, it's been it's been fun. You could have guys that could cash out, but uh, these guys have not cashed out. These guys are all in. And um, like I said, it's disappointing for today, but obviously we're looking for, for better things for our future as a program. And, and hopefully as we prepare for our final game for these seniors uh, to go out on a, on a positive note.